just to leave your mark, to be able to say, to break those American records, to, I want to be the first girl to ever hit a 300 kilo total. And, you know, there's just so much, there's so much comes with getting a medal. And, you know, at first my goal was just to make the Olympics. Well, I did it, and now I want a medal. And it's hard to explain sometimes, but. When you think about something every single day and you only have once every four years to actually try to do it, you kind of get a little crazy obsessive over it. Hey, you. Hey there. How's it going? City Barbecue is basically the hub for weightlifters. Like, we all end up working here at some point in time or another because, well, one, to be a caterer, you have to be strong because you have to lift the hot boxes, um, which can weigh up to like 120 pounds if they're but filled all the way. It's the mental side of it, being sharp all the time and pushing, pushing, pushing. You can never rest on your laurels. So for somebody like her that's basically come off an Olympics and some of the other things that she's done over the last two years almost now, getting that mindset of coming back and basically saying, hey, I've got to really start bearing down and training hard that's something that she has to do again. It's just like anything else you think of an NFL team. They win the Super Bowl, what happens? They come back and they don't do so well the next year. That emphasis and that mental side of it has to be there. So you rarely see now some athletes and some teams come back and, and basically duplicate. You just don't see that often anymore. This means so much to me because it's like, I've ever wanted something so bad and it's, it's kind of what drives your life. It's what you think about when you go to sleep. It's what you think about when you wake up. It's true. I mean, every day you have to have your priority in mind of what you're going to do, and every single action goes, am I going to medal at the Olympics? Am I not? And I, I kid you not, how many things she'll ask me, and I'm like, okay, does that put you one step closer to where you want to be in the Olympics or not? And that's how she makes pretty much all of her decisions in life. I love weightlifting. Like, I get really, really happy when I'm weightlifting. Even when I'm missing, I'm happy. Even when things are going wrong, even when my body is killing me, I'm happy. I love it. I am assuming this is what people feel when they're really passionate about whatever they're doing. This is the passion that they have. This is, I happen to have that same passion just for weightlifting. It's just weird, it's different, you know? Some people have a passion for teaching and they get really excited and they love it, but me, it's weightlifting. I just, I love it.